Welcome to Expo Magic Trick number 707. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Expo Magic Trick 707 to 710. In this trick here, we have some competitors and their fast catch scores. Fast catch is an event in boomeranging. you got to catch five times in a row as fast as you can, going out a minimum of 20 meters. So Dan has four scores, and we need to rank them, but we need to rank only Dan. So this is his fastest score. We should get a one here. When we get down here, this is Dan's second. When we get right here, this is his third and a fourth. And then we need to do that just for Dan, but when we get to riches, we need to do this the same thing. We need to say, ah, that 16, it looks like that 16 should get a 1. So that's the idea of what we're trying to do here. So in essence, it's ranking with a criteria, right? First, uh, we're going to, as we copy our formula down, need to isolate. We're going to have to say, um, we're in this cell right here, but we only want to find the Dan's, right? And then the second part will will be once we find the Dan's, we'll get our corresponding values over here and we'll rank them. All right, we're going to use the sum product. And we're going to get a series of trues and falses. But trues and falses don't do any good in sum product. So we have to do double negative, open parentheses. The double negative will convert the trues and falses to ones and zeros. And then I'm going to say, hey, relative cell reference, is that name right there equal to any of these, and F4 to lock it, close parentheses. Now that's the first array. Now think about this, all this does is as we go down, right now it's going to give us four trues here because it's a dam, but when it gets down to rich right here, it will give us a different set of trues and we'll pick out a different set of associated um, values there. Now comma. The second array, we're going to do the same thing, double negative, open parentheses, but watch this. We're going to say, for this particular cell right here, is that relative cell reference greater than any of these others? Now, our goal is to rank the smallest is the best in the fast catch event. Um, so we're saying greater than. Now, why are we doing that? Well, let's just think about this. Th once we get our string of uh, trues and falses here, that will eliminate everything but Dan. So let, let's just go through the logic for this one. Is this score greater than that? False. Is 17 greater than that? False. Is that greater than that one? They're all false for this particular number, including this one, because it's not greater than it would be equal to. So that would give us a 0 at Dan's best score. But now, what if we copied the formula down here? In fact, let's just go ahead and do that. We're not finished with the formula, but let's just see. Right here, it's going to give us a 0. Double click and send it down. But what about right here's Dan's second best score. What's going to happen? We're saying, hey, is that cell greater than any of Dan's others? Well, it's greater than that one true, but false, false. It's not. So no problem. We got our 0, which should be 1. We got our 1, which should be 2 for Dan. We got our 2, which should be 3, and our 4. That's the fourth best score. Uh, sh should be 4. So no problem. We just add 1 to the end. Totally awesome. You know, you think you want to do the rank and or something else like that, but uh, this amazing formula does ranking when small is the best. Now, let's go down here and see if we can do uh, the biggest is the best. So fast catch, absolutely, you want the lowest score. But in maximum time aloft, that's where you throw a boomerang into the air, and you want it to float as long as possible. All we have to do, we do the same exact formula, except for instead of greater than, we ask the question less than. So Dan's score right here, he has one, two, three in uh, this particular data set. There's three scores. Well, if you say, is this less than? Is Dan's 50 less than 59? True. Uh, less than this? True. So there's two trues. That would give you two, a rank of two. But we add one and we get a three. Just to show you how this works, let's go ahead and Alt T U F. Alt T U F opens up the formula evaluator and you can click evaluate 
You can see it's evaluating this. We get trues. The double negative will convert it to ones and zeros. True, true, true. So there's three of them in this data set. And then over here, just as we suspected, we asked um, the question, here, let's do that again. Right here, it's looking at that particular uh, score right there, and it's saying, is it less than? And we should get exactly one, two, oh, I'm sorry. They're all, until it's multiplied here, it's looking at all the scores. But here, it will only pick out that one. So that's the first one, which is a false. That one and the second to last one. So that one and that one. So that'll be a count of two when it multiplies. And two is not what we want. We will add one more. We get our rank of three. Totally awesome formula for ranking with the criteria from the Mr. Excel message board. See you next trick.